There is an idea that the earth was created 6,000 years ago coming from a religious perspective. There's also the other idea of uh, billions of years coming from science, but science continuously revises its position. Why is the shattering of the 6,000 year age of earth illusion beneficial? You can easily discover uh, these facts by studying our, our book and our way of life free from God. It will illustrate that the creator or the unknowable creator did not create the universe or universes nature or humans it's a bizarre thought but it's a truth this video is going to help you understand that and we are going to look at the issue that you have likely heard that the earth is just 6,000 years old but what if that's just a faith-based whisper with nothing more than just a grand symphony of a boastful date who didn't create anything other than sin first you have to rediscover why shattering this illusion of a 6,000 year old earth matters because it carries a profound implication in various domains of thought because science comes and says no we want to look at this and uh, we welcome you to our channel subscribe like share comment you can enroll into bandu university to study bandu uh, mystical systems via bandu foundations this is your Hammer Ninja Topic Christian by LM Blues. Can you get Why is shattering the 6,000 year age of Earth illusion very beneficial? Because the Earth, number one, is our current dominion in a vast universe. So if you do not understand your home, and you do not understand where you live, it is like you not knowing your address. And it is like you lost. And therefore, we should know our position in the galaxy as well as our neighbors and where we are. Number two, it helps us harmonize your understanding of what science is coming up with with our Bantu or Ubuntu cosmology. According to Ancestral Voices, African philosophy and cosmology is the system of knowledge that gives guidance and guidelines for understanding of your place in the universe. The Dogons, they tell us through the vibration, the seven vibrations that have created what we know today, the reality that we see, and also Zepitepi, our ancestral thinkers and sages came up with a Zepitepi, a term associated with the ancient African cosmology in North East Africa which can be translated as a first time, Pasichigare, or the primordial time, Masai Sai Enyunyu, referring to the mythical era when the gods created the universe or universes, established the order, allowed Maati, allowed his fate, and ruled the world directly. Even the Yoruba cosmology tells us that the center of everything centers around, around Oludumare and the gods or Rishas with a deep connection to the spiritual and material realms via the waters of Nyunyu. Um, Umveringlan, same story. So our galaxy, as you can see now, is tiny compared to the known universe. We want to look at the parallels between what our ancestors knew in animism and what quantum science is producing and sharing with a lot of us today. So non-locality, entanglement, particles influence each other across distances. So all life is connected through unseen forces or spirits. So don't think that we are too tiny and don't think that we cannot influence anything which is not close to us. There's the observer effect. When you consciously look at something, you impact its reality. You can do that through rituals, through prayer and intention that influences the world. That's what our ancestors taught through animism. Uncertainty principle, reality is probabilistic, not deterministic. So don't say I was born poor or die poor, I was born this, I was... No, life is dynamic, it's fluid and can respond to your relationship with what is happening. Energy and matter are interchangeable. Spirit and matter are not separate but aspects of the same reality. That's what our ancestors taught in animism. So you can see that when you shatter that glass of 6,000 years propelled by Abrahamic religions, you can then know that your limits are very, very temporary. Here is a clear explanation of some widely used and accepted scientific methods that have been used to date 
what has been discovered by archaeology. Unfortunately, nothing of the biblical structures, characters, tribes has ever been verified by archaeology. It's very peaceful, small here, small little there. Even something that they have discovered is sudden dis realized, no, 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 it never was. There is radio carbon dating up to 50,000 years. These are three rings, historical records, ice cores, and then there's uranium lead uh, dating, millions to billions of years. Then potassium argon dating over 100,000 years. Tree ring dating thousands of years, overlapping tree rings. Patterns, radiocarbon calibration. Ice core dating, hundreds of thousands. Agreement with radiometric data, climate records, cosmic background radiation, 13.8 billion years. Matches the Big Bang predictions. Hubble's law confirms expansion of the universe, geological layering, millions, millions of years of stratification, uh, which aligns with the radiometric uh, dating. When you look at, uh, we'll pick a few here, when you look at radiometric uh, way of uh, dating, which other people now who believe in God and in the Bible say it's not correct, red, there are radioactive elements that decay at known constant rates, known as half-lives. We are showing them there, the parent isotope, it could be carbon, when they use carbon dating and then scientists measure the ratio of apparent isotopes to daughter isotopes which are stable in a rock or sample to determine the age of the differential multiple isotope systems are used to ensure accuracy and reliability so for instance when they discovered uh, uh these uh, like tolly they are taller footprints on a volcanic activity in tanzania then they knew that this this uh, human beings were there 3.6 million years ago and they doubted they said, no 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 that's that could not be correct then they did what is known as cross validation using other systems like fission track uh, dating which then verified as oh yes that was 3.6 3.7 billion years ago so you can see that scientific methods can give us the actual age of matter and yeah, they can use also potassium uh, argon for all these uh, uh, purposes here's the summary of uh, the other three methods that are very very important Radiometric dating, oldest earth rocks, as zircon crystals, are 4.4 billion years ago. That's when we said uh, our ancestors uh, walked on the earth when it was when the rocks were soft 4.4 billion years ago. But we have our own records from our own mystical systems that teaches us 78 trillion years ago. The ice core dating, as we have already shown, Antarctic ice cores contain 800,000 plus annual layers of snowfall and ice, then hundreds of thousands of years can be got from that and measuring at that. Then geological stratigraphy. Fossil record and rock layers show a timeline spanning hundreds of millions of years. So when you come with your age and with saying the earth is 6,000 years uh, old, you are not really being honest. It is fascinating, however, that there seems to be a deep philosophical and spiritual parallels between African spiritual traditions and quantum science, particularly when it comes to the concepts of the creation and the primordial state from which everything arises. But the Abrahamic religions who sandwich these two uh, ideologies display massive confusion. But the waters of Nyunyu are all potential with all possibilities and they are also equal to the quantum uh, soup. Some thinkers in Christianity come up with various methodologies to try to incorporate science they have is also known as the gap theory which is an explanation that between genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and verse 2 there are billions and billions of years so when they do that they accommodate what science is going to discover it's called the gap theory but there's also the young earth cre creationists and thinkers they say no they argue for a literal six day creation with out the gap theory and these are all theological innovations which are not going to help anybody today so let's look at our own ancestral explanations then so that we can quickly summarize this very important uh chronology that one should know zepitepi is one we pick it's often considered as an eternal recurrence signifying that the beginning of the world wasn't a singular event but a recurring cycle that's the most important thing eternally recurring cycle such that when the science comes a scientist comes with the big bang and all this it's one of the eternal infinite cycles because science today has changed its stance a new study now has revealed that the universe is no longer 
uh, 6 billion years, it's now 27 billion years old, not 13.8 billion years. So, but for us, we don't, we're not worried because we know we, when you go to Christianity, Islam and Judaism, Christians say, oh, the earth was created on 23 October 4004 BCE. Judaism says it was created 37 uh, 3761 BCE. Same book, same uh, differences. So, this worldview that our ancestors pose it, the Zepitepi Pasishigare, is very, very critical and very, very important. Here are some of the quotations and excerpts that comes from our ancient African cosmological texts, such as the pyramid texts, coffin texts, and other ancient inscriptions that describe this cyclical creation specifically based on the waters of new primordial waters or quantum or soup zepitepi is pasichigare and then they say our answer say pasi pasati paro nyundo means before the waters of nyundo started to create or allow creation to okay then pasi paro nyundo it then emerges that the gods emerged and started uh, to rule this zepitepi shows us that only the gods, Pasichigare, and the creation arose from its Pasichigare, Pasat Parwananyundo, implying that the instigation of each cycle starts with a bang, Kurohwananyundo, like hammered by a hammer. So this answer reveals that the 6,000 year age of earth is an illusion because it is an illusion because it will stop your consciousness from expanding and its awareness from expanding beyond the, what you are told the 6,000 years ago. You can't go beyond that. Whereas our ancestral explanation allows you to go beyond infinity, timeless, as well as spaceless cycles that stretch to embrace the all, eternal, primordial and cyclical. This concept, when it is tied to the waters of Nunu, in different understanding shatters the 6,000 year age of earth illusion. Because indeed, as per the 6,000 year earth list that we are told, we are just about to finish off our list on earth, isn't it? But we are still here. No matter what happens other than nuclear war that destroys us and leaves the earth intact but in an inhabitable, it means that our ancestors knew the primordial as well as the atomic uh, and the all other Systems that science is now discovering. Nunu is eternal. It always has been and always will be. Let's give the passages which emphasizes the eternality and primordial nature of the waters of Nunu. So you go to the pyramid text, other than 600. It says Nunu is the waters that are before the gods. Eternal one who has no form. The one from whom all things come. In the beginning, there was Nyunyu, the infinite waters. It was from Nyunyu that the first God was born. And from him came all other gods and the beings in the world. Very, very, very important. The same pyramid text, we read, Nyunyu is the eternal ocean, the waters that existed before creation. There is no end to Nyunyu, for it has existed forever and will exist forever, even beyond the gods themselves. From the waters of Nyunyu, all life arose. They were the first waters, and they will return at the end of time when the earth is no more. Back to primordial, all potential with all possibilities, Masai and Nyunyu, massless waves, eternally cyclical, the answer to the shattering of the 6,000 year age of the earth illusion. So don't live in an illusion. What can you do? Shatter the illusion of time today. So how do you do that? There is more to this. For more information, get in touch. Send us an email on johnatmarfado.com Because if you do not do that, you shall be trapped by the illusion of time. You have to start to shatter the 6,000 year age of the earth illusion first. If you don't do that, then you are trapped. Thank you for connecting to our channel, Hamid Guru Ethics YouTube channel, where we base everything on our Afro salvation. This is a matter of importance. To study more, to read more, to find more, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, 
share, and leave a comment and roll into our Bantu University to study Bantu foundations that will lead you to study uh, uh, Afro mysteries. May the gods protect, imbue, enrich, guide everyone who hears their words and who heeds their instruction. For more, please send us an email on joinatmarifado.org. Thank you. Your Hammer Ninja Topi, Mr. Rabbi Elam Duzukuken Jaganja says, Yes, that glass of phallus of 6,000 year age can be shattered easily. Thank you.